this is what I call classy trendy but beautiful organza vintage top. You want to see how this top was made? Stay with me and you're going to learn that. And for the skirt, I will leave a link on the description to see how to make the skirt. Thank you. Hello, hello everyone. You are welcome back to House of Pata. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I made the beautiful organza top that you're seeing with the big puffy hand style so if you follow me all through to the video you're going to learn how to make this and one more thing if you're new here please consider subscribing like this video and share it with all your friends thank you guys and without wasting much of your time let's go straight into the video <laughs> So this is the sleeve i'm going to put elastic on the ankle and here is going to be just a normal sleeve and uh, it will be big so i already cut the two sleeves out and uh, this is the material for the body it's going to be a crop top i'm using this fabric for me to use this i'm going to fold the fabric into four measuring my front and the back as well when you fold into four you have something like this this is the front and this is the back as you can see the back is one inch longer than the front because this is your zip allowance the next thing is to mark your guard line i have one inch up here for my sewing allowance and i'm leaving half inch down here it's going to be a very simple top but the sewing and the technique is going to make it to stand out you have your eight inches here which is this is where this is your under your armhole and you have the 13 because it's a crop top it's not long the full length is going to be 16 i will still add something down here but for now it's 16 i have sorry 14 as the waist so under my armhole you measure that is where you measure the bust my bust is 40 40 by 4 is 10 here and my waist is 32 by 34 and my waist but that is 34 by 4 is eight and a half is eight and a half here plus the dots that i'm going to add to make it you know hug to the body so it's one here and a half inch sewing allowance so here i have 10 plus sewing allowance so you mark it down like this like i said it's going to be a simple top you need to measure your shoulder this is the front so your shoulder is measured by two my shoulder is 16 into two is eight plus half inch sewing allowance i will bring this straight line down here but your armhole is not straight, I will curve it here. And you have this. So now I trim off the excess for us to know what is remaining. Here we go. Now is to cut your neckline. My neckline, I want it round and not too tight on my neck. I'm cutting three and a half by four. And in front, I will cut down to four. Like I said, I don't want it too tight on my neck. I'm going to mark it like this. But for the back, make sure to mark where it's joining. The back, I want it a little bit down so i'm going to cut off my front part first so i can show you what i'm doing at the back this is my front now i'm gone this is the back 
because I don't want it too down. I'm marking it at half inch here. So I'll make it to connect to this place. And I can cut from here now. Moving to the shoulder. Your shoulder is not straight, it's slant. We are going to slant your shoulder here. To make this top is as easy as anything. So this is it. As you can see, it's almost, almost, almost done. Like if you don't want to add that to this top, you can bring it in here. And we can cut off the dart. Because we want this top as easy as anything. We are going to make it in one half. This is it. So it's going to give you the shape around your waist. And I will cut off this excess. And in cutting off the excess here, because your tummy is a bit round, it's not straight. I'm going to curve here to give it a nice look at your waistline, where I will still add my small organza. So I will use my organza to make ruffles, and I will add it here to create some, you know, kind of trendy look. What I will do now is to go ahead and pipe the neck line of my front look at what it is now so i'll pipe the neck of the front and the back this is the folding you can see neatly done the next thing to do is to join the shoulders together this is the back one and this is the front panel remember we are folding in one inch for the zip allowance I ironed it to avoid confusion. I'm going to join my shoulders. I'll do all this together. Join the shoulder, join the two sides, half an inch seam sewing allowance, and I join the sleeves. Look at how far we've gone. I've added the shoulders and the sides. The next thing is for me to sew my um, my sleeves and attach that. So for me to do the sleeve, I have to hem here and insert my elastic in a way that it will be fitted around my sleeve. So I'm going to be using about this. I will cut into two because I'm doing two sleeves. So if you're doing your own, you measure around your wrist. One for my left and the other for my right hand. The next thing is to go and sew and insert my elastic. This is my sleeves already done and the elastic neatly attached. I'll go ahead now to join my sleeves to my top. So before I do that, I will pin it up and then I will do a loose stitch up here so that it can gather a little and form a little puff. Here's your sleeve on the upper part. I have stitched, I have sewn here and I'm going to pull to form this puff on top here. I will pin it round my armhole to make sure that it's neatly fitted before I go and sew. I have gone ahead to pin my shoulders and uh, my sleeves and they are okay so i'll go and sew and then at the bottom part here i want to add this organza here so there will be a connection between the down part here and um, there will be a connection between the body and the sleeves so as you can see on the end i'm going to i marked my uh, organza is six inches wide and I folded it into two and is longer than my normal waist is longer than this because I plan fixing here and then in front I will give it a little pleat the pleats won't come at the back but I'll do it in a way that is still going to look very, very fitted. 
so it doesn't give me that big stomach kind of so this is what i'm going to do here i paint all the way to the back here and then to the other part there and then i will gather the excess at the center here make sure you get to your point so this is what i'm doing now i will form these big plates here and then i will pin it and then go and sew i'll pin it all through I will sew up all the places and then finally add my zipper and my top is ready so guys this is the final result as you can see it is nicely done with paint great attention to the neckline everything perfectly sewn is a see-through top thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you have not and like this video share it with all your friends and i see you in my next video bye bye